Right, this is my review of the iGenix IG7130. There are three versions this. One is an IG450, which is 45 litres, and there's one like this without the two hobs on top. Depends on what you want to use it for. Um, you may want to use this one if you obviously need the two hobs on top for cooking. The hobs and the oven cannot be used at the same time, so please consider that. If you have a very small working space, then this is not a bad option. If you want to maybe have a very small oven that you can put underneath the top, then get the one without the hobs on top. It works about £20 cheaper for the actual one um, with without the hobs. And also the larger capacity one is about £20 more. So there's about 20% difference between having them without the hobs and going up in size. You've got uh, temperature settings on the oven of 100, 100, 140, 180, 220. And then the functions at the bottom are going to be just off grill, uh, maximum settings, and then the top and the bottom at the same time, or the bottom at the same time. I haven't really noticed a lot of difference between having the top and the bottom and the maximum. I'll just go to maximum to honestly. Plus size, plus is the size, it's a reasonable size. Minus, as I said before, is it's um, you can't cook two things at once, you have to use the oven or the hobs. The handle doesn't get very hot in a touch when you cook with it. And it does contain um, some sort of settings where you can move up and down the actual heater itself. I kind of stick to bottom area because that's where it doesn't, doesn't get as burnt much. The only bad thing about this actual tray here is that it gets stained very easily and it's a really strange soft metal which I can't explain and it just gets really scratched easily from cleaning it properly. So I would avoid using that tray and just basically just use some tin foil and cook with that. It's very easy to clean because it's just metal inside and these sort of rods that heat up. So Overall, it's, it's good for what it is. The only bad thing about it again is not being able to have the hob and the cooker at the same time, which does make it very difficult to cook a full meal. Um, so you may have to kind of pre-cook or preheat things before and then heat them up in a microwave or just do part and part. I've done some cooking yesterday and I've just done the potatoes on top and left them with a lid on and then I cooked the other stuff and then by the time the stuff was cooked uh, the oven, the um, potatoes were still quite warm so so I was quite happy with that. Yeah, so that's my review. Got any questions please ask me.